We spent uh, New Year's, one New Year's together. Ask him, and he won't and, remember uh, the year. But Frank Rios and, um, will never forget the memory. And this one is my sister, Monica. We stayed home, we stayed in this New Year's. Frank thinks about Monica's smile, the bright face that organized coat drives and dropped everything to care for others. There's a reason for everything. Frank and Monica's relationship wasn't the best lately. I never got to to tell her I was sorry and, you know, try to make things right. And um, that's that's what's really, really tearing me apart right now. He knows to so many she was an angel. Hell. And life without her may just prove that. And it started when I heard the phone ring. On Friday night, Monica was a passenger in a car headed down Highway 2 in Commerce City. They went to turn left onto 72nd Avenue, and another driver headed southbound crashed into them. The driver in Monica's car died at the scene. Monica and the driver's nine-year-old son in the back seat were rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Her family took her off life support on Sunday. The good times that we've all had together, me and her, and, you know, because it wasn't all bad. It wasn't all bad. I loved my big sister, I did. Frank was never able to make amends with Monica, but a trip to the crash scene gave him something else. Mementos from his sister's car left on the scene. She had this little card and it has a, a medallion and it's a guardian angel. When my mom was, uh, was dying there in the last week, two weeks, it was a rosary that she had gave her and my sister ended up keeping it. For Frank and his family. This just proof that I think she is with my mom. Life may be hell, but they believe they have a piece of heaven. Yeah, I think so. Commerce City Police are still investigating the crash. They say the 17-year-old driver who hit them is still in the hospital with serious injuries. The Rios family is planning a fundraiser for this weekend to help pay for funeral costs. Well, Shalisa, you just really feel for Frank. I mean, to obviously lose his sister, but then to be carrying the weight of, of their relationship, which wasn't the greatest, just, oh, I feel horrible for the guy. It truly haunts him, right? And his family keeps reassuring him that they knew, that she knew that he loved her deeply. Yeah. All right, Shalisa, thank you.